you. At ServiceNow Knowledge 14 is sponsored by ServiceNow. Here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. We're back. Good morning from San Francisco, everybody. Shane Jackson is here. He's the Vice President of Marketing for ServiceNow. Shane, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks. So you go from changing the world of backup to changing the world. That's, <laughs> this is a better place. <laughs> Yeah, these guys too, right? Uh, I can't, I can't All the marketing work. guys can't, get hammered. Can't go without that. I still think, <laughs> I haven't seen Beth. I'm wondering if Beth is in one of these suits. I can't, I can't confirm or deny that. <laughs> well, so anyway, uh, welcome. Um, how's it going so far? What's, uh, Excellent. You know, it's been relatively new to service now. Yeah, it's uh, been, been almost a year. Uh, a year uh, this yeah. is my first knowledge, but uh, it's been everything that everybody said it would be. Lots of energy, lots of great things. The keynotes this morning were awesome. Looking forward to Dan's tomorrow. Any, um, yeah, that, I am too. Um, I got a little glimpse at the, uh, the analyst meeting. And, mm -hmm. and uh, can't wait to have them on the cube. Any big surprises? You know, joining service now. Any uh, no. any big wows that you yeah. want to share? You know, the, the, way I, the, the way I describe it to my, my family at home is that you know I used to work in a kind of in the infrastructure and the, the plumbing of the house, and now I work on the system that controls the automation across all the house. Yeah, you know, cool. And they really understand that. So it's uh, so you guys. So um, I have my days mixed up. Uh, I thought I thought uh, Fred was pre-announcing share, but of course today is Wednesday, so you made the announcement today. We did. Uh, share. Talk about it. Um, I need to. <laughs> Get the now guys going. Um, <laughs> is it hard to concentrate? With <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're missing all their giant M &Ms <laughs> They're missing all the visual cues that it's time, time to go. Um, so, so share. Yeah, we announced that this morning. Um, we're really excited about it. The genesis of that was actually at this show a year ago, um, in two ways. One, we had uh, all of our uh, CIOs of our top customers together, and we asked, so "What can we do for you?" And one of the biggest things was, "Give us a way to share." There was a lot of great content being created on the ServiceNow platform, but we can't share it with each other. And then as you kind of went around the show and talked to different people, you could listen into conversations between customers, and they would love to tell each other the stories about what did they build, what applications did they build, what dashboards did they build, and they're like, well, I built the same thing. What, would it be great if I could share that with you in some way, or see what you did so I can learn from, from what you did? And so that, that's what uh, drove And, and customers share. are cool with that? They're cool with sharing? Uh, are they eager to share? Yeah. Are they somewhat reluctant? Does it depend on industry? Like, will the financial services guys share? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it depends, right? Yeah. And so it's really more the individual sharing than company sharing. And we have it so that if you do share something, your system administrator is notified, so you know there's a kind of a checks and balances as to what's going up on the site. But um, people are very anxious to share code snippets, um, dashboards, full applications. Um, we kind of ran an early access program prior to the launch, and we already have uh, 280 pieces of content that have been have uploaded to the site and over 1,200 uh, downloads so, so what's, far. So what's the site? Uh, share.servicenow.com. Share.servicenow.com. And what kind of content is in there? Uh, there's all kinds of things that uh, people have built on the ServiceNow platform, uh, including complete applications, uh, code snippets, dashboards, those kinds of things. You don't even need a login. You can go to the site uh, right now and check out uh, and browse through all the content. You can see top downloads, uh, other thing that's been put up on the site. One of the, the, the most downloaded piece of content so far is something called the uh, CMDB uh, CI Compare. And it's this real simple little utility that allows you to go into your CMDB and look at two different CIs and compare them next to each other. So and this really supports kind of the, the platform messaging as opposed to the application messaging. And we talked a lot with Fred last year about when he built it, you know, he built, he wanted to build a platform, but obviously you can never go to market with a platform. You have to go to market with an application. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like it's really the, the platform uh, positioning is really evolving and accelerating. The, the, the platform certainly underlies that, but it is about the apps. So the, it's the customers trying to create the apps that are trying to learn from others right. and leverage the work of others to download from Share so that they can build their app faster and accelerate the rate at which they can de uh, deploy custom applications in their environment. Yeah, it's great. It's like pseudo open source in terms of leveraging the power of the community. Yeah, that's exactly it. it. It is meant to be an extension of the community, so we're driving you know, as many people as we can into the ServiceNow community to look at, there's a tab for learn, there's an area you can go if you're in the implementation phase to see best practices for implementation, there's a developer area so you can understand and interact with other developers, and then once you're in that area and you're having a conversation with someone who's developed something, hey, I'd love to have that, then you bounce out to share, and that's where the act of uh, sharing actually actually happens on that share.servicenow.com. So there's a lot of action on the site. I mean, the site's very simple, it's really is. easy to navigate, but it, it's interesting that, that you got you know, three of your partners, the top three, Cloud Sherpa's Fruition and Airtai Consulting Group are the top mm -hmm. contributors, and you can see here, you know, you can, you can search by 
you know, rating, highest rated, and, and what's being downloaded, as you said, the CMDB CI compare. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of activity going on uh, here. Absolutely, and we wanted to make sure that the partners had a way to leverage this as well. The big message from our partners is that they want a way to reach our customers and show what they've built. And so there's a couple of things for the partners on share. Number one, as you saw on, on the homepage, we feature the top partner contributions. So you can click right there and see who the top partners are that are contributing content to share. And then if you contribute 20 pieces of content as a partner, we actually give you a partner feature page. And that's what you clicked into when you saw their logo and you get a banner and it shows all the content that's been contributed by that partner. So is, is, what is it? Is, is there a back-end monetization where it's sort of brand value here? Uh, or is there a freemium model potentially yeah. that evolves? Yeah, everything that's on share right now is uh, free. So yeah. it's uploaded just to be shared. You know, ultimately we could get to a monetization model, but that's not what our customers are looking for right now. It's real simple sharing capabilities. So kind of um, like the App Store. App Store started out, everything was free, and then all of a sudden, you know, people said, hey, come on to our website, and we'll, we'll upsell you, essentially. Right, right. And but, you're obviously cool with that. Yep, yeah. absolutely. And so the, the idea for partners is to give them a way to hang out their shingle. It says, hey, I'm here, I have these applications, contact me, and you know, I may put some content up on share, like you said, in a freemium model, but if there's a full-blown application they want to sell for a particular industry, then you can go to the partner and get that. You know, a question I've always had, and I never really could articulate it until now, is that, how do you decide sort of what apps are going to come out of service now and what apps are coming out of the community? Is, is Share essentially a, a, a way to codify that or is it just sort of organic? How does that all work? Share, Share is a way to accelerate the uh, ability for others to out develop applications on service now. I mean, we really, there are applications that we build. A lot of it comes from customer demand. We really like to see you build that and there's a lot of things, new things that you're seeing and introduced to the show around Eureka. Um, but at the same time, if the partner wants to build the app or a customer wants to build the app and it's competitive with something that we sell, that's perfectly fine by us. Uh, let the market decide who, who the best, uh, best is for their solution. So it's an Apple-like model. You'll develop certain core apps, mm -hmm. and, but you want many, many more apps to be, be developed by the ecosystem than come out of service now, is that right? A absolutely, and so if you look at these you know, giant banners that are around the conference area, you know, those are hundreds of apps that are, have been developed by our partners. Um, there's an app showcase that you can actually go to online um, and look at uh, and interact with the different applications to see you know, what problems they solve, kind of get some of the screenshots that they've done to get a better idea. And the applications are all over the map, you know, so it, it would be impossible for us to predict you know, what would have ended up on that you know, giant sign. So we squeezed you with, with Fred a little bit. I appreciate you being flexible with, with the time frame. But a couple more questions. Um, so where do you see share going, what's your sort of objectives for the site and the initiative in the near to midterm? Mm -hmm. The main thing is just to get people aware of the site and get sharing. Uh, you know, we're seeing very active downloads right now. We're up over 1,200 already and we just launched the site. We have 285 pieces of content that have been uploaded to the site. Um, we'd like to see that in the thousands. So the real focus is just driving people there and getting people to, you know, remember it's a community-based activity. Kind of like the old take a penny, share a penny, you know, yeah. at, the, at the cash <laughs> register, right? So if, if you're found, finding something you're downloading that's helpful to you, what, can you, what do you have that you've done that you can upload that might be helpful to somebody else? And I think once that gets going, um, we're going to see those numbers skyrocket and yeah. be a real vibrant part of our community. My last question is, so what about you personally? Uh, what's next for you? What are you working on that's sort of wow? You know, Frank says, you got to work on wow. So what's your wow? Yeah, you, you, yeah. So, so the wow for me, um, you know, now as we get out of the show, I've taken care of product marketing. So there's a lot we need to do to go drive the enterprise service management message uh, for our customers and help them understand what that's all about and how to best leverage it. And then I'm also taking care of the global partner uh, program ecosystem. So a ton of work to go do with our partners. Yeah, that enterprise piece, that's a, that's a huge untapped territory for you guys, isn't it? So if you can put some clarity around that, yeah, provide the, some product you know, the, the, the way we're describing it in terms of enterprise service management is newer, but it's really the same thing our customers have been doing all the time, and that's using mm -hmm. ServiceNow to manage service relationships across the enterprise. Awesome. Shane, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. My pleasure to be here again. Share. Thanks right. very much. We'll, we'll see you soon. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be right back with our next guest. We're live, this is theCUBE. We're here at Knowledge 14. We'll be right back. <laughs>